Welcome back to the 75 gallon mixed reef aquarium. My name is Jason and just want to do a quick check in and take a look at the tank before I complete a 20 gallon water change. I had to move the uh, two zoas and one purple gonipora on the sand bed and the tank is starting to get overgrown, which is a good problem to have. Um, the Kenya tree is a little ticked off. So my understanding, and drop a comment down below if this is um, slightly off or incorrect, my understanding is either uh, nitrates or um, magnesium, um, or it's just going through a shedding period. Um, there's, there's the pineapple tree up front and then there's a Kenya tree towards the back, uh, left hand side by the Duncan and, um, where the utter chaos. So right behind the orange, bright orange or chaos is a leather coil, which used to be up front. I moved it to the back and Next door to that is the Duncan, and next door to that is the Kenyan tree. Um, and then another leather coral, um, a yellow frog spawn is also back there in that area. And then coming forward, you have the um, uh, the Cordia Florida garden, some more red zoas, um, Sophastria is up front, and then kind of touching the stand bed is some more bright orange Cordia Florias. And the purple gani is right next door to that. A bunch of blue leg hermit crabs. Those are the only um, ver variety of hermit crabs that I have in a tank. And let's see, let me put the um, cap back on here. All right, and then of course the red Gorniopora, which is actually pushing up against, um, it's not leaning on the glass like the purple wild bubble coral, um, which is on the other side of the tank next to the green um, ORA bubble coral. And then we have um, greens uh, bird nest. I believe that's the bright green ORA variety. Um, I try not to get so caught up with the names. Um, I prefer to keep as much of the cash in my pocket as possible. So um, then you have the uh, torch coral, um, another SPS in the center with another, um, I'm not sure what the other one is. Um, I'll come back to that one. There's some zoas, um, I think they're the fire goblins, they're not doing too well. They're probably being stung by the GSP. Um, and then that is supposed to be a pineapple um, soft coral. Um, it may be a variety of the Kenya tree, I'm not sure. Um, more zoas back there, SPS, and then you have the orange zoas, and then um, some more SPS in the center. So um, no coral deaths. Um, a lot of coral warfare, which is good. The SPS seem to be doing well. I recently tested my parameters and let's see. I normally don't keep them at this, but it came in at um, slightly above 7 DKH, uh, 420 calcium and mag was at like 1240. Um, my nitrates are pretty high, um, probably above 10, uh, which is high for me, maybe touching 15. And then my phosphates are, are pretty high. Um, salinity is on point 1024, um, 34 PPT. Temperature is still hovering around 78.4, 78.9 usually. And I think that's about it. No changes to lighting, no new equipment. Um, The refugium, I'm considering getting an algae reactor and doing a deep clean of the overall sump. 
Um, but we'll see the sumpix actually, it was dropped in and then the stand was basically built around it. So it's not like I can easily remove the sump, but I was thinking about getting a new sump, new tank, um, maybe uh, next year on that with what's going on. But that's pretty much it as far as feeding. Um, still feeding the same. I recently on my Instagram added um, some new pictures. So we have um, the Easy Reefs, larger size, found out on Amazon. Um, so I've been feeding that as soon as the lights come on at 1 p.m. And then still feeding the San Francisco Bay brand, usually the um, bloodworms and um, brine shrimp, frozen cube brine shrimp, and then the uh, frozen cube of mysis. So usually three frozen cubes and then the easy reese. And then sometimes I rotate in and out, new life spectrum. Um, pellets or algae wave wafers for the yellow tang. Um, all the fish are doing well, no new fish, no new corals. Um, still running about a 10 and a half lighting schedule. Um, I did remove some of the pumps for cleaning. So right now there's actually only one pump running. That's the Tunzi 6040 um, across the front. All the corals seem to be doing fine. It pulses on and off every 10 seconds or so. Um, and like I said, I have an upcoming water change, 20 gallons um, on deck in the next week or so. Usually I do water change every 30 to 45 days. Um, I could do them more often, but I don't really see too much of the benefit right yet. And um, my ATO has been, uh, what is it, 10 gallon ATO. So normally it takes longer for the ATO to um, drain all the way down. So I've been feeling that actually uh, more often. So instead of usually a gallon a day, I'm probably evaporating um, slightly over a gallon a day because I'm refilling the ATO every seven days now instead of every 10 days. So that's a quick update. Um, haven't really been focusing on the reef too much um, and starting to get back into it a little bit now that summer begins and we'll see where this goes. Thanks for watching. Welcome to subscribers. Um, any comments, questions, suggestions, criticism, just drop it down below and I will do an update usually in a month monthly basis is kind of my schedule, but um, it's whenever I get a chance to um, take the time to record and upload. All right. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next update.